This is The Bottom Line. The Bottom Line. On 938 Live. Private home prices here slid for a third consecutive quarter, the longest losing streak in five years, as tighter mortgage measures cool demand in Singapore. According to the Urban Redevelopment Authority's flash estimate, private home prices dropped by 1.1%. Prices of these properties in all market segments declined. Earlier, 938 Live's Andre Acha spoke with Donald Hahn, Managing Director at Chesterton's, and he started by asking if it is the time for the government to tweak or lift some of the property cooling measures after the drop in Q2? Well, I think the uh, government have been uh, been asked to uh, relook at tweaking some of the measures. But I suspect uh, you look at the numbers, 1.1% drop is uh, much lower, lesser than the 1.3% in the first quarter. So we think uh, the government only react if there had been a faster deceleration rate, let's say, between 2 to 3 or 2 to 4% on a per quarter basis in terms of... Uh, price downtrend. Uh, 1.1%, uh, I think, is deemed as a healthy correction. So we don't expect the government to uh, to tweak any measures for the time being. Okay, now prices of homes in all market segments declined with the core central region as the biggest decliner. Why do you think this is so? Well, core central region typically uh, offers big ticket property items, uh, uh, which is typically 2,000 square feet uh, in terms of size. Price per square foot is about $2,000 per square foot. So total quantum of $4 million is really beyond your, the reach of a lot of upgraders. And the target market here is uh, mainly your foreigners. And they are also affected by additional bias stamp duty. So we think the uh, CCR call center region will continue to be the weak link. Um, but we expect some bargain hunting among some uh, opportunistic investors in the next six to 12 months when we, we find there's a lot of bottom fishes looking at good discounts uh, prevailing in the call center region. Right. And for that matter, the resale market, uh, prices of uh, private homes unexpectedly rebounded by 0.8% last month. The central region actually rising 0.7%. So are resale properties more attractive? I think resale market is unique. Uh, it has actually come down in terms of volume uh, by more than half compared to, let's say, 2010, 2011 during the peak of the uh, uh, bull run market. Uh, I think the sheer volume that we're experiencing right now uh, it probably could have a substantial impact on on moving prices. Uh, so one month you might see prices moving upwards depending on what project gets launched. Um, and one month we might see prices coming down. So I think but in the longer term, uh, we would expect uh, prices for resale properties to continue to trend downwards in line with general uh, uh, medium pricing for the general property market. Well, it's the start of the second half of the year. What's your outlook for the residential market for the rest of the year? We're probably going to see pretty much a mirror image of the first half performance. First half market actually saw price decrease uh, in the first half by about uh, 2.4%. So we think uh, the second half will see a dip of between 1% to 2% per quarter, which means uh, even a worst-case scenario, if uh, the market sees a drop of 2%, on per quarter basis, overall market would probably see a correction for the whole 2014 of between 6 to maybe 7%. Last week, the government released three land parcels for residential development. How do you think it'll affect supply? Uh, well, uh, government's role is to uh, regulate supply and to introduce supply not only in good times but also in bad times just to ensure that there's no shortage in supply. Um, and I think uh, in terms of the sites that the government have introduced, developers in view of uh, declining prices as well as uh, slower home sales uh, that you've seen in uh, new project launches, I think developers will be selectively looking at specific sites that has got strong attributes uh, and they would be bidding on a defensive basis. Uh, so gone are days that we see record uh, bids for land prices in that sense. So I think selective bidding rather than you know uh, record biddings in that sense.